You've warned in the last couple of weeks or, or so about the real estate market in, in the US, the commercial real estate market. What is your current assessment of the dangers linked to that part of the US economy at a time, of course, when we said how long the Fed is going to remain and keep rates on hold? How concerned are you about a breakdown in commercial real estate? Well, it's siloed, and, and I, I gave that warning. Uh, it was just a conversation I was having, actually, with the Bloomberg editorial board here. And uh, it's, it's obvious that office is, is having uh, enormous uh, difficulties. So when you look at the various silos of commercial real estate, you're looking at industrial, it still is performing incredibly well, despite the rate hikes. Uh, if you look at data centers, uh, you can't build enough data centers today. Okay. I think the AI revolution is causing a giant push for, for large and new data centers. Uh, the real constraints there are how much power can they get delivered to these sites and how much power can they pull. Uh, when you look at multifamily, multifamily is doing really well. So it's really, I see it, I see it as office and I think the banks in the U.S. will lose 200, 250 billion dollars in office uh, over time here. Uh, and they're about, there's about two trillion of equity in the banks. So it's like a 10% hit to U.S. banking equity. Uh, and is that evenly distributed? Probably not. Uh, if it were evenly distributed, it wouldn't be that big of a problem. But I really think the focus on losses in U.S. commercial real estate is going to be in the office sector.